what if I went riding every day for a whole month? How much do you think my endurance would improve? Would I be able to stay motivated for a whole 30 days? And would I still love mountain biking by the end of it all? Well, I guess there really is only one way to find out. Day 22, and it's the start of week four. What I never stopped to consider when I started this whole thing was how much more there is to it than just getting out and going for a ride every day. There's all the washing, the bike cleaning, and the bike repairing. So you end up trying to squeeze everything in around life. And this brings me to a point where I'm gonna to have to make a very sad announcement. And that is that on day 22 of the 30 day challenge, I am not gonna be able to ride a new trail for you. Unfortunately, just a lack of time and an abundance of snow mean that I just don't have the time for anything else today. So here we are at the top of the trail. We rode on, I think, day three. Still really damp and greasy on the route. Welcome to day 23, and it's bitterly cold. I've kind of had enough of battling my way through the snow. So today the plan is to head down the valley and see if we can't find a trail that's at least rideable. The only problem with this plan is, it involves a fair amount of pedaling to get down the valley and even more to get back home. This looks promising. This snow's pretty crisp. Please, no more mountain bike pushing. Hooray! Victory. Let's go and see whether we've got a rideable trail. Mission accomplished. That was a great descent. Roll on day 24. Do you ever get that feeling of deja vu? Yes, we're at the top of the shower bag again, but today, Christoph's with me. Yay. Yeah. Keeping with the theme of the 30 day challenge and trying to ride as many different trails as possible, we're actually gonna take a slightly different route down today. Day 25, and today was a really tough one from a motivational point of view. In the end, I decided just to head out with the old girl and just treat it as a fitness session. And I have to say, 
I've quite amazed myself at how fast I made it up that climb. Came up here to ride a different trail that I haven't ridden yet. But seeing how snowy and wet things are up here, I'm beginning to have second thoughts. Hmm. These steps are hard enough at the best of times without it all being covered in snow. Right, change of plan. Pick up your litter. Another one. Come on, dog owners. Don't drop your shit bags everywhere. What's the matter with you? Oh. Welcome to day 25. And what seemed like a really good idea when I thought of it. What, we got? what are all these people doing up at this time in the morning? What's the matter with them? That is why we get up so early in the morning. To be the first at the top of the mountain. Time to get home for a cup of tea. Ooh. Don't try this at home, kids. Day 27 and e-bike guilt returned for a very brief fleeting moment. But then I realised the only way I was going to get to ride a new trail on the acoustic bike was if I got in the car first. And the last thing I was going to do on a beautiful evening like this was get in the car. So instead I decided to take the opportunity to do a little bit more testing with the Kiox navigation to see if I couldn't improve on a route that I already know. And I think that mountain panorama is all the proof you need to know that this was the right decision. Oh, blinded by the light. Here comes the exploration part. This is all very new. Unfortunately, very double track from burning altitude. There we go. That was always going to happen. Back up. So if you're following my rides on commute, I would not recommend this one. I think we'll put it down to experience. <laughs> Hurry up. <laughs> hey, that the gets to. That wasn't very friendly. He actually got hold of my trouser leg. Good job I'm a dog lover. Day 28 and I still struggle to keep up with this whippet on the way up hills. Oh. Looks like this is going to be the first proper nighttime descent. Thanks for watching to the end of the video. If you liked it, it'd be great if you gave it a thumbs up and it'd be awesome if you subscribe. As always, thanks for coming along, stay safe, and I'll see you next time.